The Cancer Council this week's service is important because cancer already takes so much away from you. Cancer Council's WIG service is a really important free service. We provide WIGs to men and women uh, affected by cancer-related hair loss. The way that it works is we have about 100 WIGs in stock. It's the nurses who then take the appointment, so not only are they coming in for a WIG, but they're coming in to talk about things other than their hair loss. I lost my hair when I was just 13, and that was a very tough time for me because I was just sorting out who I am with identity and so it was very, very hard, a very hard time. I just kept thinking, oh, it'll grow back. But when the doctors said that it's never going to grow back, I was absolutely devastated. And it wasn't until I um, tried on my first wig that I thought, it's, it's okay, it's not going to grow back, but I've got this, these beautiful wigs and these wonderful services and there's people out there who will support me and find the right wig for me and I'll feel beautiful. When I first walked in with Molly, I felt very safe in there and that I could talk about my hair loss and what kind of hairstyles I like. Molly is very friendly and she was very approachable and I felt very comfortable having a conversation with her. People can feel quite anxious about um, losing their hair. Uh, so we're there to make sure that they find something that they're looking for that really suits their personality. And you can see when they walk out of Cancer Council that they've got a huge smile on their face and that boost in confidence. Um, that's probably the best part about my job. When I'm wearing my wig, I feel just like everyone else and I can be who I am and I'm not, I'm not a label, I don't have cancer. Every minute, every hour, every day, Cancer Council are helping people find confidence through our week service.